Hello everyone. My name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with Amanda's inspirationstation.com. Thank you for joining me today. It's our weekly Wednesday. And wow, they are going by fast. I'm we started in the first Wednesday of October for our 12 weeks of Christmas because there were 12 Wednesdays and we have already done 4 in October and 4 in November. Crazy. Before we know it, I I still can't believe Thanksgiving is Thursday. I mean, with all the craziness, but it is it is what it is. So I have two pretty, pretty cards for you today. I don't normally use the word pretty, pretty, <laughs> but you know, hey. So we are going to use the Dove of Hope bundle. I like this bundle. Um, I think the doves are very pretty and it does come, there's that word again, pretty. Um, and it does come with dies. And I actually wanted to show you how we could make a card um, using the dove, but we could also make a card not using any dove from the Dove of Hope bundle. So we have two cards here that we're gonna do. And let's go ahead and let's start with the Dove one first. Um, I have my pieces all set here. So to start with, we have our card base and I'm using the Whisper White Thick. Um, I do like using the um, Whisper White Thick for my card bases. But then if I do like, um, like this is good, the scrap paper that we're gonna use to cut out the Dove, then I would just use the normal Whisper White. Um, so I have two scrap pieces of that. Then I have a piece of Knight of Navy, and this measures at three and three-fourths. Um, no, I'm sorry. This measures at four by five and one-fourth. And then I have this piece that is three and three-fourths by five. And this piece here, this wood grain, comes from um, the designer series paper in good taste. So... This is part is all flat, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this together first. So I'm gonna place this on top of my Knight of Navy. And there we go. And then I'm going to, I think my cutting was a little crooked or I just placed this on a little crooked, but uh, hold on. I think I placed it on crooked, but you know what? I am making a disaster of this, and of course it always happens when it's a video. I am going to lightly trim this just a little because I don't want this to, there we go. There we go, and of course, Feel like I should just start this video over but guess what I'm not gonna because we all make mistakes and I want all of you to know that I do it just as much as everyone <laughs> all right so there's that so we're just gonna lay that flat now on the inside I did stamp may your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of Christmas which is from the Dove of Hope stamp set and I did that in Night of Navy so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get out my Night of Navy ink and I am going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp that on the inside. There we go. And while I have the Knight of Navy out, I'm also going to stamp on this piece. I have two, this is what we're gonna use for our die cutting. But then I have this stitched rectangle that we're going to um, do the piece Joy and Love. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, just like that. Voila. All right, so now we have some die cutting to do. So let's get this card out of our way and our piece out of our way, and let's get out our cut and emboss machine. So we are going to, we're gonna have to run we need a little piece of this green, which is old olive, and I don't need that big of a piece. I just need a scrap, because we're going to use that little guy right there. But then we're gonna need a bigger piece of the Whisper White, because we are going to need two of these wings, two of these wings, and one dove. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this first, and then we're gonna run it through. 
And I just realized that I don't have my number two plate in. I can feel it already that it's loose. So we got to put that in there. Oh, maybe today is not my day to do videos, you guys. I don't know. I'm doing it anyway. It's just one of those days, right? It's a big week, you know, with Thanksgiving and... I don't know about you, but I got up early this morning and went grocery shopping because I, if you're from where I am, I live in Southern Wisconsin. Um, we have Woodman's here. Um, well, we have other places too, but Woodman's is where I generally do my grocery shopping and it is a madhouse every day at different times. But usually if you go early in the morning, it's not. So I actually got up this morning and I went and it wasn't too bad, so I was pretty happy about that. But it has put me off today because I've had so many, I got up and I did um, things so early this morning that now my whole day is just feeling weird. All right, so now we have our dove in one of our wings and we're just gonna get this extra little like whisper white pieces off here. <clears throat> And then we're going to do our other wings, which I have to get this one out. So I'm just gonna use my little poker tool. And I know you can't see me right now, but I'm actually just poking out these extra little pieces here because I don't wanna poke them all over my um, spot where we're working. So this is what it's gonna look like. And then we have the wing that we're going to put it over like this, okay? But now we need two. Um, we need two wings, so we're gonna do another wing here. And then let's see if I can fit this on here. I'm not sure if I can or not, but we're gonna try it. Let's see here. Does it work like that? Look at that. I mean, we're cutting that close, but here, let's do this. That way I'm not even wasting that other piece of white paper and I can just save that for another project. All right. So let's go ahead and run that through. All right, yep, and let's get that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to move this for starters. Um, and then I'm just gonna, I had a take a pick tool and I honestly, I. I can't find it. I never can find it. I think I lost it and I just have not bought a new one yet. So right now I'm still using my old poker tools. Although I think I've mentioned before, I love my poker tool. I not even gonna lie. I, I use this more than the take a pick tool. Um, and not that because I don't like the take your pick tool. I do like it. I just, for me, this is like perfect hand size. It's like, I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> I just like it better. We all have our little, little things, don't we? All right, so let's get this out of the way. All right, so back to our thing. We need to make our dove. And we got to get our little, little piece there too. So we need to make our dove. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use mini glue dots because I want these wings to kind of pop up. And there is a spot to pop them up on. So if you flip this over on the back and you use your mini glue dots right on the top there, that's all I'm doing. And then I'm going to just line it up like this. And then that way it, it looks like that, okay? So we'll put our mini glue dots. If you don't have mini glue dots, just use your regular, or not mini glue dots, dimensionals. Just use your um, regular dimensionals and just cut them. All right, so there's that. All right, now I want to make our dove glittery. So of course, I'm going to use some Wink Estella. Um, I know there's some of you who know me very well and know that I love Wink Estella. If they were to ever get rid of Wink Estella, I seriously think I would cry. So stamping up, please don't get rid of Wink Estella. I will cry. 
All right. Usually I'm pretty okay when they get rid of certain things because I know there's always new things that are coming out that are better and um, I get it. <laughs> but every once in a while, I'm like, no, don't get rid of this. All right. So there's that. Right now I'm just kind of painting out. I feel like I'm painting. So there's that. And it really is only getting on the top layer because it's raised and that's how I'm doing it. And that's totally fine. Now with the dove, we're going to see, it's like I'm, I'm stamp, I'm doing a stamp class and a paint class. Not really a painter. I dabbled in it once and I tried. It didn't, didn't turn out very good. Okay. All right, so there's that. So now we gotta get our card. And let's let those dry for just a minute because what we can do is we can attach on our piece up here. So I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna attach that up at the top. All right. And now I'm gonna get out my regular dimensionals. And I'm gonna start putting my dove together. So I'm gonna put the first wing angled like that. Then I'm gonna do my second wing and I'm gonna angle the wing down like that. And then we gotta put the dove's body on. And we're just going to kind of, I'm going to kind of go like that. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to take a little glue dot. And I'm kind of going to pinch it at the end just so that it's, there you go. And then I'm going to kind of tuck it under. Let's see here. There we go. Like that. There. Joy, peace, love. May your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of the Christmas. I love this card. I think it's very pretty. So some lucky person is definitely going to get this in their mail this year as their Christmas card. All right. So there's that one. Now let's work on the second card. All right. Get all my stuff out of the way here. And we have this extra piece. So here is the second card. And this is the one where we are going to, um, it's not going to have the dove on it at all. We're going to make little ornaments out of it because there is an ornament stamp um, in here. So same thing with the card base. It measures at five and a half by eight and a half. And if you score it with a scoring tool, you'll score it at four and a quarter. Um, if not, you can just fold it in half. Now this piece here is one in um, a fourth by five. And I actually went ahead and I embossed it already just for the sake of the video. And what I embossed it in was the winter snow embossing folder. I really like that one a lot. So I embossed it in that. And then I have two scrap pieces of paper, um, Whisper White and Night of Navy. And we need these scallop stitched um, rectangles. So I am going to take them from the Stitch So Sweetly. So I'm gonna take these two right here, I have them set aside, and we're gonna go ahead and get out the cut and emboss machine again. So let's move this out of the way, and we'll bring this back. And we can run them both through at the same time. Oh, nope, I need that. Um, so the big one is the Night of Navy, and the smaller one is the Whisper White. And let me get my other plate here. And we're just going to run those through. It's kind of, there we go. All right. I'll get those out of the way. And then we'll get this cut and emboss machine out of the way. All right. So, 
There's that. I can put these back. We will not need the Stitch So Sweetly dies. All right. And we don't need that. I almost think my uh, paper trimmer needs a new blade. I can see the little feathers. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, so let's do some stamping. First of all, I'm going to stamp the um, Peace, Joy, and Love again, like we did on the first card in the Night of Navy. And I'm going to stamp that just down at the bottom here in the corner. And the reason why I stamp that first before I place my piece is because I want to make sure I have enough room. If I were to stamp it here or place this piece down first, I might not have enough room for this. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough room. So we're going to do that. I don't need the Knight of Navy anymore, but we are going to use Pool Party here. And we're going to randomly stamp um, little snowflakes. And we are going to randomly stamp these all over. Even though we know that a piece of this green paper is going to be coming over here. And we'll do one right there. Okay. Because I still want it to come over the edge or underneath it. So let's go ahead and we'll attach this to. And we're going to leave a little... Um, white on all sides, top, bottom. There we go. So there's that so far. So now we need to do um, our little ornaments. So because I am going to use our blends um, for coloring, I have the Dark Old Olive, the Dark Pool Party, and then the Dark... I actually used Misty Moonlight, not the light uh, or the dark... Night and Navy. So I am adding the Misty Moonlight in instead. I just kind of like how it gives it a different hue um, next to the Night and Navy, and that's just what I, I liked. So that's what I did. So I am going to use the Memento, and I do need a scrap piece of paper. So let me find, let's see here. Let me get a piece of I like these. I don't know if you guys have these, but they're the grid paper for the Stamparatus. I use this grid paper a lot. All right, so we're going to do the first one. The middle one is going to be the long one. And then the two top ones, we're just going to make them a little shorter. All right, here we go. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to color. So I'm going to color that. And I'm going to do these two on the, like the sides the same and make the center one different. We'll get out the old olive. And actually, you know what I realized now that I'm doing this? I think when I first made this card, I didn't use the dark old olive. I think I used the light. Because this looks like the dark. Or, I mean, I, I have the dark right now, but this... What I did before looks like it's lighter, but that's okay because now we can see it both ways. So it works for me. All right. I hope all of you are gonna have a safe and uh, fun Thanksgiving. I know it definitely is gonna look different this year, isn't it? All right, so I do want my ornaments to have glitter and so I'm going to use the Wink of Stella. Um, yeah, our Thanksgiving is not going to be with extended family. It's just going to be our immediate family with my parents. Um, 
and my brother and his family kind of like the bubble, the bubble that we live in right now. All right, so we're gonna need dimensionals because we are going to pop up the white onto the Knight of Navy and then we're gonna pop up the Knight of Navy onto the card. So we are going to need dimensionals for all of this. And I'm gonna flip that down too because I'm just gonna put dimensionals on all of it here. I'm gonna put one in the center because we don't want a saggy center. I know that um, I've talked to quite a few of my friends and stuff and a lot of people are just having small gatherings, which is good because that's what they're asking. So it's nice to hear that. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just place this right in the center there. And actually, now that I look at this, we just changed this card up a little bit, kind of a lot, because we actually used a little bit bigger sizes um, of the scalloped. So with this one, it looks like this one was the Knight of Navy. And then this one was the Whisper White. And then on this one, we used the bigger one and used this as the Whisper White. But you know what? I like them both. Um, I like them both. I think they both look nice. So I guess it just depends on what you want to show more. Um, but I think they look good. All right. So here's this week's Weekly Wednesday. And this is the Dove of Hope Bundle. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Weekly Wednesday. I will see you next week. Um, I'm excited for next week because I have a really cute treat. Um, now that we'll be in December, um, I, th I feel like December is the time when you do like little cute treat things and cards. And I mean, yes, we live in a COVID world right now, but you know, drive to your friend's house and put a little treat with a little card in front of their front door or in their mailbox. You know, it's just something nice. Or, you know, look at the postal workers and the UPS and the FedEx workers. Maybe leave them a little treat. It's just, it's a small thing with such a huge gesture. Um, so we will be doing a treat thing next week. So I hope you guys all enjoy your Thanksgiving and I will see you next week. Bye.